Hello Elucidat users and welcome to this level 2 video on project structure. In this video I'm going to show you how you can divide your content into chapters and the benefits of doing so. So why use chapters? There are a couple of clear reasons why using chapters will really help your learners navigate through your content. Firstly, each Elucidat project comes with a slide out menu as standard. You can choose whether to include this or not in each of your projects, but when this does appear, what it does is it lists out all your page types in a linear list so learners can open up the menu and jump to the page they need. If it's quite a long menu and you can imagine this might be quite unwieldy for a learner to use, it might be hard for them to find the exact page they're looking for. And that's where you can group your content into chapters or topics. So in this example we have two clear topics and they are emboldened in this slide out menu. Topic 1 and Topic 2. And when you set a chapter heading up, as we've done here, it will group all the pages that follow on from a chapter heading under that chapter. And that means that in the menu, they only appear once you're on the chapter. Otherwise, it just shows the chapter heading, and it's really clear from the chapter headings where someone needs to go. And it's not overly cluttered with a list of every page in the module. The second benefit of using chapters is that if you're using one of our out-of-the-box image grid menus, um, you can enable Elucidat to track someone's progress through a chapter and therefore tick off when they've completed it. I'm going to show you how to set that up now. So this is a project I've previously set up. It has a menu with three topics and you can see that this image grid menu comes with a progress bar. In author mode it shows us half complete, so it's the white bar here. But in preview mode what that will do is it will track progress as someone views the individual pages in a module. And this icon here will become a tick once they've completed the topic. So it helps learners see how far through the content they are and which topics they need to go and revisit and complete. Unless you assign chapters in Elucidat, we, it won't be able to track or know how many pages com are combined in each topic. So that's the benefit of setting up chapters. To set up chapters, you would do it on the first page in each topic. So I'm going to go to my topic one page. And it's done in page settings at the top here. On the first layout tab, you'll see there's a checkbox that says, is this page the start of a new chapter? And selecting that will make this page the beginning of a topic. Now what you need to do is you need to make sure every topic in your module is set as a chapter heading and that's because once you set one Elucidat will group every page that follows it under that chapter so it needs to know where one topic ends and the next one begins. So I'm just going to set my topic 2 and topic 3 as the start of a new chapter as well. And then if I go back to my menu you'll be able to see the effect that has. So on my menu page, you can see here already in the skip to page list, um, Elucidat has emboldened those topic headings and grouped the sub pages under those chapters. If I go into preview mode, you can see how this will work for learners and what it will show them. So firstly in the slide out menu, I can see each of my topic headings really clearly and choose which one to get to. Obviously these would have more meaningful names in a real project. If I go into topic one, I can see that it's then revealing the page under topic one. So it reveals the other pages included in that topic. If I now choose to go back to the menu after viewing just one page in topic one, you'll show that my progress bar is tracking as half complete on that topic. The other topics aren't started, so they're not showing as complete at all. If I go into that topic and navigate through to the second page of my topic, therefore completing it, I've now viewed both pages, and go back to my menu, you can see that that topic's now ticked off. My learners will know that they've completed it, and they'll then be able to click into one of the other topics to complete all of those. So it's a great way to track progress through your module. 
I've got three top tips for you for using chapters. Firstly, use the image grid menu to visually track that chapter progress, so using those progress bars. Secondly, in linear modules, use chapters to break up your content into meaningful topics. So you don't have to have a branched menu to use those chapter headings. It can be really helpful for just grouping content together. And thirdly, um, is more of an advanced feature, but if you use chapters, you can actually set them up with rules and timers and scores applied to groups of pages. So we'll come on to that in some of our level three videos, um, but it's just setting your module up to use some of those advanced features more effectively. Thank you for viewing this video. Move on for the next topic in level two.